What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling oh the change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope the family's good. Hope the money's coming in. Y'all know how I give it up, man. I want the best for you guys, and I appreciate you guys for rocking out with me for another episode here on House of Colossus, man. This show your first time here. This is what we do. We have ourselves a good time discussing the art of fragrance. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, man, as well as the notification bell. You'll be notified anytime I drop new content. It's a great place to be. All right, y'all. So, y'all know we in spring, man. We are in April at the end of April as of recording of this video, man. So, I wanted to give you guys five, five Middle Eastern fragrances, man, that I think are absolutely phenomenal for the spring. I think these are really kill the game, y'all. So, without further ado, let's hop right into this, man. First fragrance I got for y'all, man, is coming from the house of Nabil, man. And that one is called Nabil Marble, y'all. I've been really, really impressed with this fragrance, man. Like, this is some really, really good juice. Really, really good juice. Oh, man. Fresh, spicy, herbaceous, green, woody goodness, man. This is going to lean more masculine. I don't see women necessarily pulling this off unless she likes green fragrances. But this is different, man. It's kind of like I said for me and my assessment of it. It's kind of in the same vein as a artisan pure type of vibe, but the greenness is more amped up. The projection is more amped up. The fruity aspect of it is kind of toned down. That's why I said it's more of a green fragrance. This smells amazing, though, yo. Eat longevity, great. Projection, first two hours, enormous. And sillage, that thing gonna linger in the air, man. This is really, really awesome juice. Definitely think you guys should give it a try if you don't have it already. First one, y'all, is Nabil Marble. Next one I got for you guys is coming from the house of Rasasi, man. I've spoken about this before. This has made MET. This smells amazing, yo. From the Cosima line, shout out to my boy, fashion aficionado Habib. He the one who first put me on this, and I grabbed it like two, three months after the fact. I slept, but I ain't sleep no more. That one, y'all, is Rasasi Cosima Rasana. Rasasi Cosima Rasana. This fruity rose beauty here, some compared to Elysium. I think it has some similarities to it, but it's not really Elysium. This is kind of like, how can I put it? It's kind of like Creed Aventus E. I guess, but kind of Creed Aventus with some rose in it. Like, I think actually, you know, now I think about it, this actually gets compared to Creed Aventus for her. But I think this is unisex. This smells absolutely amazing, man. Longevity on this is pretty good too. It's inoffensive, it's likable. It does have a mass appealing nature to it. I think this will smell amazing on a woman. I might do a video for that, you know what I'm saying? Some spring fragrances for the women, Middle East. I might do that. But anyways, y'all, another one that smells absolutely amazing. For the spring, you should definitely check out as Casa Rasana from the house of Rasas. Next one I got for y'all is a cheapie, man. I love the way that this smells. This one has the saffron, spicy, pineapple type of vibe. Longevity on this is decent, but the sillage is where this thing shines. From the house of Latafa, y'all, that one being Riyadh Silver. Latafa Riyadh Silver. That saffron and that pineapple are the most prominent things in this does have an aromatic nature to it i love the way that this smell again this is really really good juice it's gonna smell amazing i don't want to say it's it's kind of in the same vein as a kayak alpha sun type of vibe but this one is more aromatic and more spicy whereas kayak alpha sun is more musky and more creamy this is some really 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 good juice y'all don't get me wrong and it's inexpensive definitely check it out man if you look at some if you like fruity spices Fruity sweet spices in that case. This will definitely do it for y'all. That one being Latafa's Riyadh Alfresan. Riyadh Silver. Not Riyadh Alfresan. What are you talking about? 
I'm sorry. He a little slow. Next one I got for y'all, man, it's coming from a house that I haven't mentioned on the channel as of lately. I do have a couple more fragrances coming in from this house, but this one is awesome. This one has this fruity accord, somewhat like of a grapey type of vibe to it as well, but I really, really enjoyed this, y'all. Coming from the house of Alwatania, and this one is called Kayali. Alwatania Kayali. This smells amazing yo longevity on this is pretty decent too about seven hours gonna last a little bit longer on your clothes if you spray clothes like i do but this smells amazing man definitely something that you should definitely pick up i purchased my bottle off of ebay i'm pretty sure there's some reputable sellers where you can get it for the low ski obviously y'all know i'm gonna try my best to plug those down there for y'all man but this is really really good juice again fruity not musky but white florals kind of a grapey type of vibe and woody this smells amazing. This smells amazing for sure. He, 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 he. Oh, and did I mention this is unisex? Put that thing on, girl. But yeah, this is this is nice, man. Again, another one that would be awesome for the spring that we're in, especially transition into summer. That is Alwatania Gayali. Next one I got for y'all, the last fragrance I have on this list, man, is gonna put you in that same ballpark as Silver Mountain Water. However, that inky vibe of it is gonna be way toned down and it's gonna be a little bit more fruit pr prominent. This one smells absolutely amazing. Coming from the house of Paris Cornea, and this one is called Mephesto. Cosmorando Mephesto. And this smells amazing, y'all. I have worn this for like the last three days, actually, Two days ago, I wore this. This is definitely in that ballpark of a silver mountain water. The inkiness in this is definitely toned down and is more of a fruity pronounced. This don't last as long as silver mountain water or siage. Or I should say siage because I don't own silver mountain water. It don't last as long as siage. But if you don't like that inky, metallic -y type of vibe and you want, you still like that DNA of silver mountain water slash siage then this would this will definitely do it for you man this smells amazing longevity i said it's not that great about seven hours siage giving you all day but on clothes this definitely lasts too man i really really enjoy this and i think you will too again if you like that silver mountain water type of dna but you don't like the inky vibe go with this man this smells amazing from the house of paris corner y'all that one being mefesto and that's gonna do it for me y'all those are five fragrances in my collection I think will be absolutely amazing for the spring. Ain't gonna cost you a lot of money. And it's gonna have you smelling right for sure, man. My name is Jeremy. You are tuned in to the House of Colossus. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about my videos, y'all. Until we meet again, make sure you guys drop down in the comment section if you agree with these or put each other on because that's what we're here for. Let each other know about some of these Middle Eastern fragrances that you guys may recommend that smell amazing in the spring. Until we meet again, y'all, much love from your boy. I hope to catch you guys in the next one through the grace of God. Peace.